Thank you for your interest in this manual entitled COVID-19 Community and Healthcare Facility Checklist, Enhancing Preparedness in the Low Resource Environments. The document was researched and written by a group of medical students, global surgery research fellows, and the leadership of the Emory Global Perioperative Health Group. The purpose of this video is to provide more information about the document, its target audiences, and instructions on how to best interact with the document. We developed a structured checklist that not only asks pertinent questions surrounding the preparation and management of COVID-19, but provides concise answers and relevant resource links. Its comprehensive nature is designed to serve individuals and organizations from a variety of backgrounds, such as governmental departments of health, public health organization, physician associations, hospital administrators, public information officers, and community leaders. It is divided into two sections, community and healthcare facility focused information. It can be utilized as a means for needs assessment and as a means for identifying existing and desired resources. Once needs are identified using the checklist, the user can focus on the sections and information provided to strengthen their own hospital and community-based protocols. We recognize that there is already an overwhelming amount of information available on COVID-19 worldwide. Many communities and public health departments likely have already asked several of the questions in this checklist and developed protocols in these areas. However, as more regions begin to ease restrictions, we feel that there is unique value and benefit to this checklist for reasons including. This document provides a comprehensive double check for a variety of audiences to help ensure that a COVID-19 preparation and management plan addresses every aspect from primary prevention to post-COVID era reopening. There are extensive resources from multiple trusted organizations laid out in one place with many active links constantly updating with the newest information. This document focuses on enhancing health communication and strategies to effectively engage communities. This information is supplied in an easy to understand format. The document is 45 pages long. While it could certainly be read from start to finish, the author suggests printing the two page simplified checklist, completing this checklist for your institution or setting, and then focusing on gathering information from the sections of the document where you could benefit the most by using the bookmark or table of contents functionality. It is important to note that this is not a static document. We recognize that the best practices surrounding COVID are constantly changing. For that reason, we have noted sections that may require frequent updating beyond this initial distribution with a refresh symbol. Therefore, in some sections, it may be best to refer to the associated website link instead of the incorporated infographic or flyer. Similarly, information that may be locally, regionally, or population specific has been clearly noted with a group of people icon. We thank you for your interest in this document. We believe that it has the potential to be helpful for rural, urban, lay, public health, and medical communities alike worldwide. If you use this document and find it helpful or have suggestions for improvement, we would appreciate your feedback. Please email us at sroser at emory.edu. Thank you so much.